Howdy folks, uh, welcome to Coffee and Tools, it's Monday here and we got uh, we got some stuff in and uh, we're going to show it but here's the problem. I had an economical small laser machine, I think it was about a year ago that we showed and it was cool because it was such a, it was a good price and you know I thought eh, pretty nice little machine for you know for somebody that wants to get in a low, low budget. They sent me this one here, uh, the Laser Master 3 from Orthro and we also got a box of accessories from them so we're gonna put all that together today but I'll be honest with you between you and me I have no idea what's in this box I, I guess I'm pretty sure I know what's in that box but this is an unknown so we're gonna put this all together today and see what we're into here it should be interesting so hang with me right cool Alright, so I think we're ready. Uh, we're going to open this one up first because, like I said, we, we pretty much know what we're looking at here. But this is the new Laser Master 3, and you'll notice that this is the third generation laser engraver, and also that it's uh, supposed to be safe, high speed, and easy to use. So, <laughs> good luck with all that, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to open it up and take a look at the uh, contents of the box here. Wow, so I've unpacked the box and already I'm saying wow, because uh, this is really enclosed, fancy looking, you know, like I haven't seen a laser quite, not quite like this one before. Also, the power of the laser is a bit in question. It appears to be, I was assuming it was a 10 watt laser, but I think we're talking a little bit more than a 10 watt laser here. It has a 50 millimeter focal length, which is quite deep for you know from here to where that laser is going to be actually hitting also uh, everything is enclosed a lot of a lot of cables and parts with this one and also we've got something here that's a bit of a mystery it looks like uh, looks like tubing for like air support or pump or something maybe maybe that's what's in the other part of what's in that other box I don't know I haven't had the other box open I figured we'd assemble this thing and then get into the accessory box that is supports the ortho, ortho uh, laser assembly. This is generation three, so they have upped their game by the looks of it. And wow, this thing is, geez, it's really quite fancy, really fancy from. So, so race fans, it looks good, but actually the assembly is not that easy. Um, I've gotten, I've been timing it so far, um, well over half an hour into well actually about 45 minutes now into it and I don't have any cables on it yet we haven't even finished the assembly this is a 10 watt laser by the way I had to look that up actually just see where we were at and there does look to be an airline going in here plus your electrical so this has uh, air coming from somewhere and again you and I'll have to wait on that to see where that's going to come from because I don't know yet but uh, a couple of other things put these on you put them on the back rail first and there's a w cable that has to go feed right through here up to the front and in the instructions it was kind of vague a little bit the other thing I'll show you too is uh, these uh, these hookups here with these idler uh, wheels it's really kind of cool it's not a bad thing but it's just when you first do it this is just different you know than any laser uh, that's ever been in here so you know this is very different that way but it's all about quality and look and look at the you know look at how nice that is there's you know there's no there's nothing showing here and yet this thing is ready to you know run back and forth and do its thing I'm getting the laser ready I'm not sure why they had me remove this other than the plastic that came on it on the shield itself but I wanted you to see that that button thing because like I said they have it on the wrong it's on the wrong side and it shouldn't have been placed there but little crazy things like that will show up every now and then. So we'll take that off of there and we'll pop this back on. Now, this is not that hard to figure out because you have a big slot and a little slot. So take the big slot and uh, put your laser, line that up, and then just snap it in place and, you know, there it's on. Also, there's a nice little thumb screw right here that goes in on an angle, which again is different, but it's easier to reach with your fingers if you want to adjust the laser up or down when you're you know setting up getting ready to do some work so again uh, you know there's some engineering work you know involved here so pretty cool but I wanted to get you up to date before I finish because I've, I've got to put the cables on this yet 
and at that point I think we're just about ready to try our first piece the uh, console let's see we've got move cut layer and I've got it at 80 I'm gonna turn it up to 100 I mean we may as well run the run 100% on it okay so let's let's do it and just see how we do man that's still going fast they say this machine is really really quick and it is Whew, it is really flying <laughs> that's a fast pacer now uh, just to show you something else we're going to do a fill line yeah i'm going to fill and start let's see how that works out because yeah there you go that should take some time <laughs> yeah yeah that will take a while but it's filling it in and that way we'll have more of a, a big official stamp for the main cave Got a little bit more lettering to finish up on that one and then we got to put a nice picture up the front and in the center but that's a good start for a project and I just wanted to see the laser in action and working it's very quiet uh, not sure what the yellow red flashing light on the power line over here is all about it uh, I don't even know right now at this time because it's such a new machine to me we're not up on everything but uh, the TF card that comes with the machine has all the instructions for assembly and you know a lot of the specs and things you need to know about. Now, as far as the specs go, I can't find the size, the working size here. I think it's about, it looks like a good 400 by 400, but it could be larger. I'm trying to find out if this is a, a bigger machine because it is, it's very large looking. I'm assuming it's around 400 by 410, which seems to be what just about everybody seems to be putting out right now. Okay, we're just finishing up on the laser. Fantastic. Of course, we have our, you know, our goggles on. And there's a little bit of smoke coming off the uh, wood, which again, you know, something you shouldn't be breathing. It's These are not super safe machines. They're wide open. There's a, there's a laser running. Obviously, I don't want anybody coming in by some chance into my garage right now and seeing this, but yeah. Okay, I think we're about done. Yeah, baby, man cave. Yeah, that was uh, that's at six thousand uh, millimeters uh, per minute, and that's at hundred percent laser. So that's that's running a, a really a fast speed with uh, the power of the laser. It's a ten watt. It looks like it's doing a terrific job. It's you know it's doing everything it should do, and it's doing exactly where I positioned it. There, it's gone back to what they call the what I call the. Uh, point of origin, not the home location. Home location will be over in that far corner. So that did a really nice job. Very nice job. Anyway, let's get the box open. I got another box with this thing. So yeah, here. Okay, so we've got the yep engraving platform. This is pretty fancy. A little different than any again, a little different than anybody's I've seen. But there's also this is more of a workable platform because it has this uh, L bracket here that will connect to these fins or I shouldn't say connect to them but they will ride up and down these fins and this will give you a way to square everything up before you engrave it so this is a really very professional you know kind of setup to accurately if you want to engrave something I'm going to show you this picture I don't know how Okay, so there's there's what we're looking at right there, is this engraving table. But it also has a little square with a little arm that's adjustable back and forth. Plus, you have this little L bracket here that's kind of acts like a speed square almost. And you can square up your lumber or whatever you're engraving before you actually cut it, so that everything is square, hopefully, to the machine itself. So when you engrave, you get a nice you know, accurate dead center piece. Uh, a good example of that is what I just did right here. And what I did here was I tried to measure this off a little bit with framing and with point of origin to make sure this was roughly in the center of this uh, arch right here down and measure it over and try to, you know, figure out where this is gonna end up. Then when I start my engraving, as you know, once you start a, a laser, it's kind of like, yeah, this, you, you can't fix this. So, before we go any further, I just want to mention the specifications because this is not a cheap machine. It's not also a really overpriced machine or anything, but there are specifications. It 
uh, it has up to 20,000 millimeters per minute speed, bringing you more, you know, perfect work and, you know, less time because they say it's fast. Depth of uh, 8 millimeter, uh, but also it can cut up to 30 millimeter, which is like, whoa, yeah. Uh, precision, 0 0.01 millimeter precision engraving, even on, you know, narrow borders easily. Uh, it has uh, the Arto uh, app. Uh, laser Explorer, you can take a photo and engrave every time. Seven safety features create new safety operating uh, conditions here on the machine. Various external surf, uh, interfaces, which includes USB, SD card, uh, Wi-Fi, AP, and U-Disc. So, wow, you know, like, yeah, there's a lot of ways you can talk to this guy. Uh, also has an automatic maintenance reminder, which uh, some people might get a little confused over that, but yeah, every once in a while you have to clean the lens and you know things like that with the laser. It just comes with the uh, territory here, especially with the smoke and things that you're burning off sometimes. And also the laser series engraver comes with a 30-day return uh, guarantee up to a one-year warranty on these machines. So yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Okay, so I got it all together here. There was five of these panels in the box. There was two rails, also some rubber uh, feet, which can be under put underneath this, so that when it when it's uh, set down in place, you can you know it won't slide around on you. So you can get this thing adjusted to exactly where you want it, because let's face it, you want this squared up to your gantry or your bridge if you like, if you're laser, and at that point, uh, you've got a little. This little piece right here, which uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but it has a little L on it. And you can uh, set this so that once you take a work piece, you can put it in here. And say you have it in here and you're lasering. So you do a little laser work and you want to take this out and come back, you can because you already have a reference point to where that exactly is going to go back in to where you can continue your laser work. And uh, it's, so it's, it's a nice, it has a nice feature and it's formed. Arter. Arter has made a lot of different, uh, quite a few different lasers, and they had some real economy models at one time, and they seem to have stepped up their game and gotten into bigger and better all the time. This is the Generation 3. So this one has uh, Wi-Fi. It has a TF card slot in the back here. Also has a reboot, a reset, power. Also, if you have kids or anything like that around that you're concerned with, you have keys. So you can lock this laser out so that nobody can use it until you're ready to go kind of thing. There's a lot of a uh, lot of features here for the consumer, and that's really what this thing is about. Is that is that mid consumer to professional level laser? It's a 10 watt, so it's got you know got lots of power for engraving and or if you want to cut, you sure can. Uh, I like the adjustment here. Also, I like the uh, way that you can put this down, and that sets your focal point on your laser so that you you know you don't have to look around for tools or a spacer or something it's built right here in it and you just flop that out of the way when you're ready to start working but this uh, little platform that they sent me <clears throat> this accessory really does make a, a difference now accessory of the plate now size it's 448 millimeter by 400 millimeter so this is a large uh, working plate area for you and of course it complements this particular the generation 3 machine right here also uh, you have an emergency stop button I guess I you know I don't like those but hey you know somebody I'm sure we all had, had a day where an emergency stop button would have been handy <laughs> it's a really slick nice looking machine and if you're gonna set up a laser uh, somewhere this would be this would be a nice one to have. And you've got accessories, plus you've got the plugs back here so you can offer a rotary uh, system here for doing rotary laser stuff. And again, look at the work area. You know, if you put a rotary in here, you're gonna have a massive amount of uh, area where you could do rotary work. But the idea is simply that you could run your a large rotary under here as well. But this platform, this thing is, that is an amazing little extra uh, item. We've uh, reviewed, and uh, what can I tell you? I'm going to provide links with uh, Made the Best, because that's who you know send, sends this sort of thing over to me. And I talked to the gal there, and she's uh, all fired up to give me some links, and we'll give you the links uh, for the machine. And, of course, a link. I don't know if there'll be a separate link for this. I guess there will be uh, for where you can find the Orter uh, work uh, platform. They call it the L E. P 
for laser engraved platform, of course, and this is a good working item. I've seen the honeycombs. I've got a couple of these honeycomb systems in, but none of them offer this feature. So that is an interesting new idea or item that I haven't seen before, which will allow you to be more accurate with uh, the lasers. So pretty cool all over. Wow, nice looking machine. Shoo. Wow, when the uh, gal over at MadeTheBest.com said, we're going to send you this, you're going to like it, she was, man, she was right. It was like, wow, a lot of cool features. Really like this piece uh, on that platform, too, because if you're doing a multiple uh, run where you say you're doing 100 card, you know, wood cards or something, you could just keep changing them out, laser, change it out, laser. It would be a good production, you know, uh, quality machine for that. Thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools today. Uh, we're a little late. Uh, Monday, with this this uh, situation just dragged out, so I had, to, I had to say, okay, Tuesday we'll get this wrapped up, and then we'll get it on, on the uh, on the air for everybody so they can see it. And uh, again, you know, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. We have a T-shirt giveaway on Thursday coming up and uh, got another 3D printers coming in. Uh, unfortunately, we do have some more lasers. I didn't want to do any more lasers right now this year, but it was like, yeah, we got a couple more lasers came in. I was like, ah, all right, we'll, we'll see what we can deal with it. But I've got a, an exciting new 3D printer that, uh, oh, I'm pretty hopped about that, you know. <laughs> Meantime, like I said, the link's in the description below. And also sale price, yes, yes, there is a sale price for this uh, going on right now, so hopefully, Take a check it all out, man. Just take a look, you know. <laughs> I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>